Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Monday. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend and it's October 17th. Uh, we got a very volatile week this week. We got a lot of economic news uh, that will be uh, that could uh, sway the market either way. And a lot of it has to do with inflation like the PPI which is the wholesale side of things and the CPI which is the consumer price index. Now also we got the Fed base book uh, coming out this week as well. So. I would look at this week uh, the CPI report as well as the uh, beige book to kind of set the tone for this week. But we do got economic other economic news release that can sway it either way as well. We got uh, this week. Uh, we'll start off today. We got the uh, you know, Empire State Index, but we also have the Philadelphia State uh, Index coming out later. Uh, Philly Fed funds uh, later this week as well. So that's the manufacturing on the East Coast. So here's our uh, Empire State Index. Um, we had a negative 8.8 .8, uh, the previous uh, month reporting, and we thought it would improve a little bit, but really didn't uh, improve much at all. Uh, basically, you know, three eighths so or three tenths, so really no improvement. Pretty much about the same. We got the industrial production. This one uh, actually a little bit better. We uh, slight improvement. Actually jumped up to 0.2 percent from zero. So I uh, had a slight improvement in industrial production. Uh, and capacity utilization we had 77.3 percent, 77.4, and basically it did hit the expectation. So again, uh, the economic factors that weigh the most here is the manufacturer. They're going to look at uh, the Empire State Index uh, that didn't play so well. So let's go ahead and uh, jump here. Uh, the headline news, and basically the stock markets down. So part of the Empire State Index kind of played a role in that, but the next one is right here. Comments by a German finance manager dampens the stock market. Basically, they're saying that uh, the EU uh, market meeting is coming up October, I believe, 22nd, and they just don't think they're going to have a resolution to this whole debt, uh, Greece debt crisis here um, at that point. So they think it could... Uh, spokesperson for Angela Merkel, the Prime Minister for Germany, basically stated that they may have something uh, I mean, probably kind of, this whole talks will probably extend into 2012. So of course, the investors and people of that sort uh, don't like that. They thought maybe there's a lot of optimism for Greece, but nothing on the near horizon. So this will probably be something that will extend into next year. Uh, so it doesn't bode well for the market right now. So that, as well as the, uh, the Empire Index, uh, didn't uh, sit too well the market, so the stock market's dumb. So let's see how this is uh, representing the bond market with the interest rates. And uh, as we see, Friday was a pretty bad day, but today actually is pretty nice. We're actually uh, at 101 right now. We're kind of kind of hit the floor. We're kind of see if we can uh, go to the next level here. So we may hopefully break through this uh, ceiling that we have uh, above us. As we can see, we had a floor here and we have a ceiling here. Now we really don't want to be testing this floor here because if we keep hitting this um, at some point it weakens and we could have a huge drop and our next drop will probably be right around 99. If we can have a nice de clear definitive uh, rise upwards that could help us uh, steer away from this and have a nice trend upward, uh, upward trend uh, to see improvement to rates. But rates will be a little bit better than what we saw on Friday. Friday was actually uh, not so good. Uh, as we saw this is pretty much one of the lowest points we've had for a while over the last couple of weeks. So we are probably about closer to what we were on uh, Thursday of last week, where the interest rates, uh, where interest rates lie. So uh, stay tuned. Here's my little special offer to you folks, and uh, you guys have a wonderful day.